Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome to another video. Today, I'm in Irvine, California, out here at the Great Park of Orange County, where I'm going to be mapping out some parts of the park. Now, for those of you who don't know, the Great Park was actually built on what used to be the site of Marine Corps Air Station El Toro, which was the former home of the 3rd Marine Air Wing, as well as my first duty station as a young PFC many years ago. Um, so I definitely have some memories of this place. Uh, there's still some parts of the base still here, some of the runways, but what they're doing is they're building out some homes and you know a really nice park um which i've been hired to map out so seeing as that i've been getting a lot of questions regarding mapping in general uh what my workflow and processes look like and what some some of the apps that i use i decided to take this opportunity to vlog about it and hopefully answer some questions that you guys may have had now real quick disclaimer this is definitely not an end all be all guide to mapping um this isn't even a mapping tutorial i'm not a mapping expert this is just me sharing with you what i've learned through trial and error uh, what works best for me and what the client seems to like because they keep hiring me if you do have any suggestions on how I can improve my workflow I welcome all of those um, I definitely want to improve so make sure you leave those suggestions in the comment section below um, I definitely read and appreciate all the comments that you guys leave so without further ado let's go all right so whenever I accept a, an assignment from a client the first thing that I do is I check the airspace I want to make sure that the airspace is good to go that I have authorization to fly in it and if I don't then I would go ahead and request it now uh, you could do this a couple different ways. I just so happen to use ForeFlight. ForeFlight is an EFB or an electronic flight bag app that uh, pilots use in the cockpit and it gives us information such as sectional charts, um, approach plates, airport diagrams, all that good stuff. And um, I'm gonna use that to check out what airspace we're in. So I like ForeFlight because it is familiar. It gives me the most up-to-date uh, sectional chart. And as you can see, we are currently in or actually under John Wayne Airport's Class Charlie airspace. Uh, the airspace starts at 3,500 feet and goes up to 4,400 feet. Now, if you don't have four flight, uh, you can use a good old sectional chart. You can go onto websites such as skyvector.com or even the Lance website. Um, you could also use apps like Before You Fly or AirMap, and um, those will work too. Now, uh, one cool thing about AirMap is not only will AirMap tell you what airspace you're flying in, but if that airspace participates in Lance, you can actually request instant authorization directly from the app, which is pretty cool. All right, guys, so now that we know that the airspace is good to go, the next thing that I do is I want to scout out for a good launch site or where I want to set up base camp. Um, a couple things that I consider whenever I'm looking for a place to launch is um, if I have clear line of sight of the entire mission area, so that way I have a visual line of sight of the drone at all times, but I have good radio reception at the same time. I wanna choose somewhere that's open uh, because once I start the app that I used to map out with, it's all autonomous so that way it'll just take off. So you wanna make sure that you're not under any trees, any power lines, any, uh, any uh, light poles or anything like that. So, um, you know, definitely wanna make sure that it's all open and everything is good to go. Doing that out, I found a perfect launch site. I do a quick site survey and identify any hazards or any obstacles that might affect the mission itself. Once you start this thing, it's pretty much automated and there's really no way of stopping it or adjusting the flight path without having to pause it and restart it. So uh, it's really critical that you identify any, any obstacles now um, so that way you could adjust for it in, in your flight planning. What I'll do next is I will launch the DJI GO 4 app and basically take the drone up to mission altitude and that way I can identify anything that I may have missed from the ground. Okay, so now that I know that everything is good to go in the mission area and that we're clear of all obstacles, um, I'm gonna go ahead and launch the Pix4D app. Now, I prefer Pix4D over some of the other apps mainly because of the fact that it's really easy to use and it offers a lot more customization than some of the other apps do. All right, so because the particular purpose of this mission is to create a 3D model, I'm gonna go ahead and choose double grid. Now, this is the mapping area and over here is where you can adjust the altitude at which you fly the mission at. If you choose one of these handles, you can actually resize the mission area. Tapping these little curved arrows will allow you to rotate the mission area. And tapping the directional arrows in the middle will allow you to reposition the mission area. All right, so a quick tip. Um, what I like to do is I like to position the start point closest to my launch site so it'll minimize the flight time from the launch to the start of the mission and uh, it'll also maximize the battery. Now that the mission area is in there, we're gonna go ahead and tap on this little gear icon in the upper right hand corner. This takes us to our settings. Uh, this makes sure that the angle of the camera is at 45 degrees, front and side overlap are at 80%. We'll leave everything else and we'll hit back. And uh, as you can see, based on those parameters, the flight is gonna be about 31 minutes. So uh, chances are we're gonna need multiple batteries, and which is fine. 
So now we're going to go ahead and tap on start. It says that the drone is connected. We're going to tap on next. And it's going to go through a quick checklist. Okay, so this is just going to tell us that the drone is connected, that multiple batteries are required, which is what we already suspected, that the minimum amount of GPS satellites are connected and, and in signal, um, that the SD card on the drone has enough storage, that it's close to the grid, that the flight mode switch on the controller is in the correct position, and also that the mission itself is uploaded to the drone. So pretty much all we're waiting for now is for the camera to be set up, which there we go. And we hit on, uh, we're going to go ahead and tap on start and launch the drone. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. Um, I was going to continue on the video, but rather than subjecting you to 31 minutes of just me sitting here watching this thing, I've decided to end this video here. And uh, I definitely want to take this opportunity to sit there and say that I realize you guys could be anywhere on the internet, but you have decided to spend a few minutes um, watching this video of me act like I know what I'm doing and I have it all figured out, which I don't, but I do want to sincerely thank you for tuning in. Um, if you like this video, if you found any of it useful, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. It's going to be my goal in 2019 to put out more content, but I definitely need to know what content you guys want to see. So if you have any suggestions on content, if you have any suggestions on my workflow, on any tips that I may have missed, or if you have any further questions regarding mapping or anything like that, make sure you drop a comment. I read all of your comments and I do appreciate all of those. Um, but I definitely also want to say that uh, this year has just been really interesting. I am super blessed to be able to do what I love to do and to share that with you. So um, all of the love and support that you have shown me uh, just validates that. And I really do want to thank you guys all for that. Um, I wish you and your family a very Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Fly safe. All right. Peace out.